All right, and welcome to the next part. <clears throat> and in this part, we're going to work on adding weapons that we can shoot. I've also tidied my project up, so I won't run into the problems again like I did last time. So I'll create a new folder, and it's going to be called Weapons. I'll create a new folder in there and call it Projectiles. Create a new base actor, and we'll call it Base Projectile. And uh, let's think about how we want to do this. I guess we can have sockets, and then we'll shoot. And uh, we can do by trace, and we'll show the trace. All right, so we'll go into our base projectile, and we'll make it a trace projectile. So on tick, we're going to get actor location. Whoops, get actor location. We're going to do trace by channel line trace by channel. We'll do it at the start. <coughs> get actor location and then the end point will be get get forward vector. Oops. Get actor forward vector. Multiply that by a float and we'll promote that float to a variable and we'll call it speed. And we'll put the speed at um, I guess just a hundred so we can see it for now. Oops. And uh, the location will be this plus get actor location plus what we just did here. And, <coughs> and we'll also set actor location here. And if the out hit, if it cats, if it hits a, um, we'll cast it to a base ship. If we hit a base ship, we'll just uh, apply damage. We'll, we won't have that yet, but we'll have it soon. Promote that to the variable, name it damage. Expose both of these. Promote, say, the default value of damage to 5 for now. The damage actor will be the hit actor, which is the base ship in this case. <coughs> and we'll also print screen just so we can see that for now. And we want the trace to be on the visit the uh, camera channel. Compile and save. And uh, now let's go to our ships. And we're going to have different firing between ships. Like some might have turrets, some might have fighters. But we'll put um, the fire commands here anyway on the base ship, just in case we want all ships to have them. So we'll also name this yaw and pitch. So we're going to add some inputs, project settings, input, access mappings, fire, put it left mouse button, close that, close these, and in the base ship, we're going to get ship mesh, we're going to get fire, vent fire, and we're gonna do for each or sorry, get sockets, get all socket names, and for each. So for every socket we add to the uh, ship mesh, we're gonna need to change that later, but we'll override that in uh, capital ships. <coughs> so for all socket names. And uh, we can also add something like if it has muzzle in the name. But we won't do that right now. We'll just do it for each spawn actor from class. And we need to get socket transform. Connect the array uh, element to this. Connect these. And this we'll promote to a variable and we'll name it projectile used. We could also have a weapon class, but for now we'll just do this. Compile, save. Compile again so it works. Base projectile. Now I forgot in the base projectile we need to set draw debug type for one frame. 
and uh, now we need to actually add that socket. So what we're going to do, the easy way, is go to our ship that we want to add the socket to, in this case Space Fighter, go to the mesh, click here so it goes there, and we'll add, uh, we'll add some sockets. So create socket. I'll just tone down the size so it's a little bit more even. And we'll name it muzzle one. And I'll just put it along the edges here for now. There's gun models that come with this, but for now I'll just put it here. Create another socket. Point one, point one, point one. We'll get muzzle one's relative location. Copy, paste. But then we'll set this to negative. Actually, no, it's the other one that we want to set to positive. Yes, I got it right. Yeah. Rename muzzle two. Save. Close this, and let's test the level. Player controller. Right, because we selected the wrong one. So we'll go to our game mode override here and put the player controller. And well, it's hitting the ship, but I'm not seeing the trace. Oh, because it's hitting itself. Duh. So we need to set an instigator. So actors to ignore. Get instigator. Find that. Go away, Steam. Not right now. <coughs> and then we need to set the instigator. So we'll go to our base ship. Instigator. Self. Compile. Save. Now let's try. Okay, so it's going. It's just going pretty fast and... Uh, yeah, so it's working, it's just a bit hard to see, so we can make it a bit easier to see. So I'll just turn the spring arm, maybe increase this, and maybe reduce the speed of the base projectile. And we can also add, I don't know, actually that's fine. So let's try now. It's showing the trace when we hit it. Is it just hard to see in the background? It's working, it's just not showing the trace in the debug. That's my new persistent. <coughs> Duration. Let's try that. There we go. I guess this is because it's moving fast, but as you can see, we have uh, weapons now. Alright, and that's how you do weapons with sockets. See you in the next video.